I'm Megan Crumpler, 42, and I'm from Starbridge, Georgia. <laughs> the only two good things about being fat is one, you can't get kidnapped, and two, you age good because the fat fills in your wrinkles. <laughs> Fuck off. What? <laughs> Oh shit! I <laughs> Yo, I I need to get fat man. She said the two the two things. <laughs> okay, so basically, right? I, I clicked on this video and literally everything that you just saw is all that I saw. And the reaction that I gave you was literally the same one that I had the first time watching it. I didn't think I was going to get the same reaction. But anyway, anyway, let's... Um, ladies and gentlemen, this lady has a cure of aging, amongst other things. And that is called being obese. Okay. Nonetheless, though, let's not waste any more time. And, um, well, here we go. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another edition of Moving Mad. And it takes some time to calm myself down. Um, yep. <laughs> but anyway, we did <laughs> So the name of the TV show is called Too Large. And um, it, it just came up on my recommendations, um, you know, has a, a pop-up from... Uh, TLC so it seems to me as if they've got a new show now for obese people so they've gone from a thousand pound sisters to my 600 pound life and now they're going called too large TLC man they're just doing the madness but uh yeah anyway let's not waste any more time let's check out what the hell was happening in this utter freaking madness man let's get it but there are so many things negative about being fat large makes it hard to get to the restroom on time so improvising with a pee pad on the floor I just have to kind of say, F it, and go with the flow, cause literally flow. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I find this woman hilarious. I mean, so she talks about two things that's good at being fat, and then she go, but yeah, I gotta have a pee pad on the floor for me to go to the toilet because you know, I just gotta do it. And the way she's so casual with it is. What? But okay, okay. 50, 53 seconds into the show, and it's it's, it's a complete maza, complete maza. Um, but listen, let's proceed. Let's proceed. I'm mean, honestly, I don't know what to think right now because I'm finding it very hard to be serious because this woman is, she's making this into a comedy situation. Uh, you know what? Let's get it. But when I was little, my mom actually worried I was too skinny. I started having trouble with my weight around 16 or 17. Baby, I need help. I'm trapped. Babe. Ooh. Being the size that I am, my lungs just can't keep up. <sighs> I've got a 50 foot cord. I call it my ball and chain. Oh God, help me. <sighs> okay, so it's definitely not getting any better for her. Um, as obviously as we can see, she's got a cord. 50 something or it's, it's 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 a complete madness you know and it, it's so crazy though you know because uh she has this bundle of energy which is which which is always a good thing because there's a lot of positivity behind having a lot of bond of energy it's more about how do we transfer that bond of energy into making the right choices for yourself now my apologies there's a part of the clip that you haven't seen okay just you know cutting the video out for copyright purposes and uh, she does speak about how, you know, she was in a, an abusive relationship as well. So that definitely didn't help. And that's something that definitely took her to this journey of um, eating food. But hopefully now she's with a new partner, things can get better for her, okay? But uh, let, let's proceed and see what else is to come uh, throughout this video. On top of that, I have fibromyalgia, arthritis, high blood pressure, diabetes. I fear for my life daily because of my weight. They're not Yo, man, that's a lot of things to have diagnosed with yourself, you know what I mean? And it's so sad because she's got to wake up every single day, you know, with just all these things going on. But the most hardest thing about probably going to sleep is going to sleep and wondering, will I still be here tomorrow? I'm not saying those things that she said are the things that's going to, you know, put you in that position per se like that. But, 
you know, when you listen to her breathing, you know, when you're looking at obviously the cord that she has to carry around, but it's, 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 it's a lot, you know, she's got a lot going on. I, um, at this moment in time, I do, feel, I do really feel sorry for her purely because she seems like such positive energy, you know, it's just a matter of, okay, how can we reverse that? You know what I mean? But, uh, let, let, let's see, obviously how this goes along as well. I mean, how's it, how this episode goes? Because maybe there's going to be a point where, you know, there's going to be something that she's looking to get done. I don't know, but let's find out. To my father, that I would live life to its fullest. My next step is to have bariatric surgery. And I'm going to do it. I don't go to restaurants on a normal basis because of my size. You can put your stool right here. That'll work. Thank you. You're welcome. Everywhere I go. I have to bring a stool along and feel like I can get in it and not have to worry of whether or not it's going to collapse on me. Damn, man. I could not imagine bringing a store with me or any kind of seating arrangement with me wherever I went just for the sake of, you know, um, just, no, just for the fear, sorry. Just, just, oh, I can't get my words out. I can't imagine myself wanting to get a, wanting to take a store around with me uh, for the purposes of where I'm scared that if I sit in a public chair, I may break it. So I'm going to bring something that I know I'm not going to break. So I can never imagine, and to be fair, the store doesn't have like a back support. So that means she's got a really probably slouch most of the time slash on the table rather than sit back keep her back straight so there's a lot of things there's a lot of cons when it comes to obviously bringing them to the store you know and it's, it's it's so sad it's so so sad but you know the thing that really frustrates me that frustrates me the most right now is that she gives me she looks like chantelle you know it's freaking annoying me because i i i i have this this hope of this woman that hopefully she's gonna do better for herself you know what i mean but um Oh, we oui. let's um let's proceed. Now that I've decided to have bariatric surgery, I really can't wait to share the news with my best friend Vanessa. I'm gonna try to convince her to have it too. Oh god, I'm ready to change my life, and I don't want to leave Vanessa behind. Hey, how you doing? Where's my hug? <laughs> I love you, girl. I mean, I hate to say it, but I can see why she wants her friend to do it too because both of her, both her and her friend, are not in the best situations. I mean, her friend. Or struggling to get her, get out of her own car, and even when her friend was walking, yeah, it, it just didn't look very good balance wise, did it? So I can understand why she's hoping that her friend can do it too. But I really hope that this isn't one of the situations where you're looking to have your friend as your anchor, has have your friend as your motivation. You know what I mean? Like because you need to be able to, yeah, you need to be willing to do it yourself. You know, rather than have someone do it for you, has some sort of um, outside reliance. If that makes any sense, if you dig what I'm saying, is that even a word reliance? I just made it up, you know. But it makes sense, right? <laughs> but yeah, let's proceed. I'm Vanessa and I'm 41. I met Megan in junior high. This girl has been with me, ride or die through it. And if anybody says anything to me, she got my back. It's crazy because I literally look, I, really, I literally feel like I'm looking at the uh, slaying sisters right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But anyway, let's proceed. I've not been in a restaurant in forever. See, I haven't been able to go to a restaurant because I'm embarrassed of. The that, tables, the chairs. Well, I know, fat and people watch you eat. Somebody the other day I pulled up at the gas station was pumping gas and from across the parking lot called me a fat B.I. From a people are extremely judgmental of people my size. They think that we're just nasty people. We sit on our butts, we eat, we don't bathe, we don't take care of ourselves. And it's not true. It's not true. I'm the same as a woman that weighs 150 pounds. Just because I've got extra skin doesn't make me any different. My heart still works, my brain still works, and I still have emotions. I mean, she's got a fair point, you know. The, uh, uh, she has good emotions, you know. And yeah, she's got a heart that still works and, you know, and X, Y, Z. So I do agree with that to a certain degree, you know. But I think the main part is that she has emotions, which is the part that always has to be considered because that's where people need to be more polite and be more uh, nice rather than be horrible because, you know, being someone up for their size isn't really going to help but trying to give them some sort of constructive criticism or just honest or just honest opinions, you know, then yeah, that's fair enough. But obviously it has to be done respectfully. So I, I understand that. But despite that... Yeah, she is still breathing, all that kind of stuff. What she needs to understand is that you're in a position where you may be, your heart may be working, but it's working at a, at a rate that someone smaller wouldn't be working because your heart's having to do more work than needed. So, you know, I, I hope that she understands the medical side of, the side of things. I don't want this woman to neglect the medical side of things, you know what I mean? Because that is one of the worst things to do is to neglect the medical side of things and not take into, in, into consideration that even though you may still function, 
completely fine, it doesn't mean that inside you are fine. And plus, she was struggling. She was struggling to get out of the to get out of a car. She doesn't want to go to the restroom because of chair. She's afraid they're gonna break. So having those kind of you know that mobility situation there, and also having that insecurity there. Those are things that you want to get rid of by improving your health, both mentally and physically. So even though she may have certain points, you, you, you can't argue with medical, you know, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Growing up through poverty, I remember being four or five years old, living in the car with my mother. I was big because my mother comforted me with food. School growing up for me was rough. I was actually being bullied and picked on real bad. Megan came along and became my best friend. And Megan, there's been so many times that you were the only reason that I woke up the next day. Because you gave me hope, you gave me strength. Megan's an amazing person. Shucks. I think it's an, it's amazing that, you know, that Megan was her friend and Megan did support her and help her, you know. And Megan even gave her a purpose to want to wake up every single day and that is absolutely fantastic. And then, and like I said before, this Megan woman here, she does give me this very good positive vibe. She's got a sort of energy to her that is amazing. It's just how do we now transfer the energy into the right place. now. Obviously, at this moment in time, she's looking to do that now, which is brilliant. So we can only hope that she pulls through with this type of energy. But this type of energy she has is energy that a lot of people don't have. And that could really, really need. You know what I mean? So I really hope it works. And at the same time, though, even her friend has the same type of energy, too, which is absolutely brilliant. You know, the fact that they have a better relationship than the Slaying Sisters is a plus, And that is something that could hopefully say things will get better. We won't get another result of just one loses weight. I mean, Amy hasn't completely lost weight, but you know, we, we we get one doing some work and the other one doing nothing. Hopefully, they can both do this together. But um, yeah, let's see what let's let's see what else. Ugh. Let's see what else happens. In a sense, it's like I don't feel comfortable in my own skin. Well, I'm afraid to peel myself. Oh, I do that all day. I'm not I'm not worried about that. I mean, you know, I cough. You're like, oh goodness. Yeah. I pee on myself 15 times a day. Do you wear a diaper? No, because. No, I don't make them to fit us. 15 times a day. Do you wear a diaper? No, because... No, make them to fit us. Got like three pair of pants in my car. We can so make I can change pants. Diapers. We should go into business. Oh, I could make some things for big women because I'm gonna tell we you, we need a piece of cloth. Diapers. Why is she talking about peeing herself 15 times a day with such passion? Lady, that's not a good thing. Oh, dear Lord, my brain hurts. <laughs> my brain hurts. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my, my, my hope for the for, for this friend is, is is looking good, and now they're talking about making a a, a business. Okay. Guy to touch my butt and feel a diaper. A little noise. I am not, I'm talking about cloth diapers. I want to get your sampler platter. Uh -huh. All right, and let me get the three tacos and a flan. Okay. Please. What you getting, love? Can you order taco salads without the shell? Of course. What kind of meat would you uh, like? Gr grilled chicken. No, and I'm gonna stick with the water. Okay. Why are you not? That's not food. That's a bird. Well, seems to me as if Megan's on the right path because she's definitely looking to you to get that surgery. Or she hasn't told her friend yet because when her friend was ordering, I was like, damn. But then you see when Megan was ordering, her friend was looking at her like, girl, what the fuck are you doing? We didn't, we didn't. No, 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 no. I just ordered three tacos. Why are you ordering less than me? <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> but I assume this is the moment that, you know, um, uh, what's the name again? Megan's now going to tell her friend about getting surgery together. Let's see what happens. I'm not happy being like this. Mm. I'm miserable. And it's not about vanity. It's about not living. Like, I'm sitting on the sidelines, looking at people's pictures, going on vacations, running down the beach, having kids. I'm uh, this doctor. He does weight loss surgeries. And I think... Dr. Proctor, he could save your life. Okay, so the way her friend is looking at her right now, oh, fuck me, man. This is gonna be a roller coaster, isn't it? Her friend is like, oh, is that right now? So you said it now? What? Are you you're gonna leave us big girls behind? <laughs> Sorry, guys, but anyway, let's proceed. Let's see what happens next. Okay, I'm not letting him do it for you, but I can walk, I can drive, I get around. I do it, but I mean, I take care long? of my kids by myself. But for how long? Do you not wanna see your kids have kids? I do, and but I feel like I will because I'm healthy. Yeah, my health is pretty messed up. But I don't see me changing my eating. I don't see me changing what I want to do and how I want to do it. This is my life, my lifestyle, and how I'm going to live it. While you're losing weight. I'm well, we all know who the Tammy is in the relationship. Oh, shit. <laughs>
Why? Why can't we just have a team of people that just want to do better together? Megan's face is just mortified. She's just like, ah. Anyway, let's 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 see what happens next. Me years to get used to this fat, big body that I've got, and I think I'm the most beautiful woman alive. I am Beyonce, just white. I don't want to lose you. I just lost my daddy. I'm sorry, but this woman's off the rockers. I'm just, I'm, I'm just. I'm just Beyonce just watching. Oh, man. I right, listen, listen, listen. It's fantastic that she's feeling herself. It's fantastic that she took all these years to, you know, um, be happy within herself. Listen, congratulations. But lady, listen, there's a time in your life yet where you have to listen to your body, okay? Your body is screaming. Your body is telling you that I know you feel beautiful. I know you're owning your shit. But I want to be healthy. I want to be for as long as possible, okay? I want to breathe. And most importantly, I don't want to keep pissing on the floor or in my own clothes 15 times a bloody fucking day, okay? Most important, I don't want to piss when a guy's behind me giving me the back shots. You think what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just crazy, like, so she's more than happy to continue just urinating 15 times a day. Woo! <laughs> Delusion, delusion. That's that's the what I'm looking for. Yes, yes. And the way that we're going right now, it, it could happen any day. But you know that, you right? Know that you're you like, oh, die having surgery. I have more of a chance to die without surgery. Look at me. I'm chained to this. I can't. I can't even go to the restaurant without being out of breath. Wow, man. This 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 episode is a it's a roller coaster, man. See, uh, Megan's Megan's making me upset, man. Like, yo. Uh, you know what? This she wants it. She wants this so bad, and I really hope that her friend can support her. You know, and even if her friend doesn't want to do it too, I really hope she can support because Megan's done nothing but support her friend. So it'd be nice if she just gives her the support back. If she doesn't want to do it herself, then whatever. That's your choice, you know. But like she said, man, she's chained up. Uh, this is hella sad, man. Hella sad. But well, it's it's good to see her at 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 um at a breaking point, rock bottom, at a point where she's like, you know what, I gotta get my shit together, and it's not it's not even optional anymore, you know. So it's it's nice to see that she's got there. It's not nice to see that she is where she's at, you know. But um, that is the past, and there's nothing we can do about it. We can only focus on the present and the future. And Megan, let's go, man. Team Megan, fuck rubbish. Come on now. It's gonna be all right, baby girl. It is. But let me tell you something. I love you. And I love me. But I'm not gonna have surgery. Ooh, wonderful. Yeah. Vanessa puts on the front. Vanessa says she's okay with being overweight. But truly, deep down inside, I know Vanessa. Lifestyle change for the both of us. It's about not dying. Ooh, we, man. That was something else. That was something else, you know. And um, I can't imagine how hard it was to eat after that for Megan. You know, her friend was like, "I'm diving in. I'm do. I ordered this food, free tacos, and all that. I'm gonna." And the other crazy thing is that was just the appetizers as well. Yo, man, American appetizers are just different. But um, yeah, who we? I I don't have anything to say to be honest. With you. I feel like I said everything. I feel like I've been emotionally worn down to be fair because they started off with. Megan just being bubbly to her just being teary, man. And that, that's a lot of emotions for anyone to handle, for anyone to watch, you know? And, um, yeah. But please, uh, let me know what you're thinking, though, down below in the comment section, okay? I mean, you know, the more, the more comments we can get, the better, please, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, feel free to like the video, too. But with that being said, uh, we are done and we are out. Thank you so much for your time. Peace.